this is my uh, 11 horsepower Honeywell uh, generator. It's uh, 5,500 run running watts. It's affectionately known as a Chonda, which is a Honda clone. So it looks a lot like a Honda. Doesn't sound like a Honda. Then a conversion on this to a uh, tri fuel system. Uh, it'll run off of gasoline, of course. It'll also run off of natural gas, and it'll run off of propane. Um, this is the uh, regulator, basically. Um, I have it hooked to natural gas right now, which is most convenient for me. Um, I bought this kit from U.S. Carburation, and it is a Type C kit. Um, if any of you are uh, looking, uh, their web page is really kind of horrible, but um, a Type C kit. And you have to uh, watch your distance that you are from your gas meter. Um, I'm running a uh, basically a three-quarter inch hose, uh, 30 feet. Uh, it powered my whole house fine, as you'll see in a minute. I uh, see it running. And um, I purchased this hose on eBay from this seller. And uh, really helped me out a lot with this hose. And uh, you can see, you can follow it around here behind my air conditioner unit. And here's my valve and quick connect that I put in. And when I disconnect it, uh, the hose off of here, I uh, I plug the uh, plug it with this, and then use this on the hose itself. Keep any trash out of the hose. And that's the way you should turn off one of these conversion kits is by turning the gas off, not the switch on the generator. I want to come back and cover the uh, Type C conversion kit again from U.S. Carburation. Um, again, it's a Type C. They have a few types, but the uh, the Type C is the one that does the tri fuel. You got gas, natural gas, and propane. Uh, my main focus been on natural gas. Um, that's that's what I plan on using. Um, the kit comes with absolutely everything that you need to put it on your generator um, from the, the the bolts to the hoses to the clamps to the, to uh, everything that you need it's it's quite a bit uh, when I opened the box I was really surprised the number of parts that were in there but um it actually went together fairly easily um, the instructions are kind of like their website convoluted but um uh, you, you can still get the job done. Um, it, once you once you kind of get a grip on how it's going, you'll it, all the pieces fall right into place. But really, the two main parts: it, the regulator here, and then the adapter plate. Now, one thing they don't really cover on their website, or if they do, I didn't see it, is you have to cut the frame on some of these models because this adapter plate goes between your air filter and your carburetor. So. In my case, you can see that would have run it right into the frame. So I cut it off here and cut it off here. Now, U.S. Carburation also included these little caps to put over your cuts, which are way too small and split open. But anyway, they, at least they tried. <laughs> All the other parts seem to be very nice, um, good quality. Um, so back to the regulator on the back side of this. It's going to be a little hard to see. Mm -hmm. and maybe you can see it there. There's the uh, primer button. Uh, on this one I have to hold it about five seconds to get it primed and then it starts right up. Um, this is uh, adjusting the mix to lean it out. Uh, if you're switching between natural gas and propane you're going to have to adjust this. And then you got your hose going down to your adapter plate. It, it really pretty simple. Works really well. Um, I went ahead and put a um, 90 brass, uh, a brass 90, 
uh, and here I did have the hose coming straight out but even with that it seemed to bring it out way too far as Freya's going to hit it on things even even with this it sticks out further than the tire so you got to kind of watch it and the way they made the this um, there's no way to mount it behind the frame there's just not enough room so uh, it has to mount on the outside and again like I said I cut the frame so I went and got some square stock um, and cut me a brace going from the top to the bottom here just yeah that would be super just something to just to brace it a little bit. Um, I, like I said, overall, I'm, I'm extremely happy with this kit. Um, I, I would highly recommend it to anybody that uh, had nat natural gas or propane uh, readily available. Uh, uh, it, it works great. One thing you do need to remember, if you're going to be using gasoline, even if you want to go ahead and take your hose off, you're really going to need to plug this and also cap your hose keep trash out of your hose, keep trash out of here, plus you're going to create a vacuum uh, leak on the system even when you're running gas so uh, you need to cut that off and if your generator does not have a valve to cut the gasoline off you're going to need to install one of those because if you don't it's going to create a vacuum leak through your tank. All that's covered in the instructions but you know just in case uh, <laughs> you don't read the whole thing like I tend not to do uh, now you know. <laughs>